Hello everybody, today we have beautiful HP Pavilion X360 laptop. It's a 14M-DY series Intel Core i5 11 Gen laptop with a touch screen. Let's take it apart, let's see what we can replace, fix or upgrade. Let's start. Start with bottom case. Unscrew the bottom screws. Now find the gap where you can put your tool to separate the bottom case from the palm rest. And work your way around the edge to disconnect all the clips. Let's check that it would be one screw. Okay, the bottom is out. Here we have the part number for our bottom case. Now we can access all the internal components. So always start with disconnecting the battery. Pull out the time. Now we can take out the battery. So if the battery doesn't hold the charge or it's swollen, you can replace it. Watch out for the speaker wire. Okay, so the battery is out. Here we have the part number. Now let's take out the SSD drive. So under that cover, there is our storage. That's our actual SSD drive. So if the, if the laptop doesn't boot, shows no bootable device, or you would like to upgrade your storage, this is how we can do it. That's the NVMe M2 drive. Now let's disconnect our speakers. So if you have a bad sound, you can replace your speakers. Very easy. Just unplug it from the motherboard and they are out. Here we have the part number. So now let's access our memory. Okay, so lift the cover. Now we can access our memory. So if the memory doesn't work or you would like to upgrade for a bigger one, this is how you can do it. This laptop had only 8 gigabytes. So now let's see here, we have the Wi-Fi card. So it looks like if your Wi-Fi doesn't work, 
you can replace the card. So unplug the antenna wires. And there's one screw. And now we can take it out. Here we have the part number. <coughs> Here we have our heatsink and cooling fan. So if your cooling is bad, or the fan is making grinding noise, you can replace this part. So unplug the fan from the motherboard. Okay, so that's our fan. Here we have the part number. And that's our heatsink. Sometimes it's stuck to the processor because of the cooling paste, so be very gentle, don't vent it. Otherwise it won't work anymore. Here we have the part number. Here, that's our processor. Unfortunately, it's soldered on the motherboard, so you cannot replace it. If it doesn't work, you have to replace the whole motherboard. So now let's pull out the motherboard. So let's disconnect all the connectors. I always close those clips, otherwise you are risking breaking them off. Connect the video cables for the screen. Okay, now take out all the screws. Okay, now let's see if we can take it out already. Here we have our DC power jack. So let's disconnect it from the motherboard. So if your laptop isn't getting the power through the DC jack, you can replace this part. You don't have to replace the whole motherboard. Let's first take out the motherboard. Oh, one more screw here. Okay, so that's our DC power jack. If it's broken or doesn't provide the charge, then replace it. Here we have the part number. And that's our motherboard. Here we have the part number. Right, now we can take out our screen. So I already took out the screws for the hinges, so gently unbend the whole screen assembly. That's our keyboard touchpad palmer's assembly. If 
you need to, you can replace just the touchpad, unscrewing these screws. The keyboard is riveted to the palm rest, so you cannot replace it. You have to buy the whole palm rest keyboard assembly. That's our part number. And that's our screen. It's a touch screen, very fragile. Usual sold with the covers. It's very hard to take out the screen without breaking it. So I would advise to replace the whole assembly. If you need your parts, check gutlaptopparts.com. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.